Question of the day. For $25,000, would you let a trained mercenary sniper from the military shoot an apple off the top of your head from 100 meters away? But there's a catch. He's been drinking tequila for a couple hours, yet he says he still feels confident in his shot. You gonna do it for 25 grand? On Twitter, there's like 108 people that said they would. I think you guys are fucking crazy. There is no way I would do that. A drunk sniper, dude? If he misses, there's a 95% chance that my face is gonna look like a can of SpaghettiOs. In a nutshell, it's the same question I asked yesterday. Would you, would you risk your entire life for a couple thousand dollars? Now I know that's 25 grand, but Jesus Christ, no. Those of you who said you'd do it, man, you guys are daredevils. I don't even know what to say. Oh no, it's a no from me, dog. I ain't doing it. All right, what is up guys and welcome back to another video. I didn't really know what to do because I still don't have my other video storyboards even completed yet, so I went into my Discord today and I looked in the video suggestions. This nice fella named Gotham with his little Bulbasaur picture there says, predict the division winners next year and Gotham, I will. So in this YouTube video, I'm basically going to just be running through each and every division stating who I think is going to be the winner next year. Now, of course, it is only March 23rd, 2021. Anything can change, and I guarantee you my thoughts will change. But as of this very moment, this is who I have winning their respective divisions next year. All right, what's up, guys? I'm doing a little editing break here. I realized that I didn't really, I don't really know what's going on in the NFL if there's 16 or 17 games in 2021. I don't know what's real and what's not. So this video is based off of 16 game seasons. Basically, just don't shoot me if it's 17 games and I was wrong. All right, so we're going to start off with the AFC East. <laughs> For anybody that thinks I'm scared of Bill Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody that thinks it's getting into my head that Bill Belichick is making all these moves, you guys think I'm fucking scared? I ain't scared of shit. I'm fucking terrified. But with that being said, with confidence, I think the Bills will still win the AFC East this year. I just cut my lip open from smacking the thing against my tooth. Okay, the Jets are still gonna stink. The Dolphins are flirting with the idea of making a threat. I still don't think they're quite there. Buffalo, I think, is probably gonna go about 11 and 5. New England, I'm seeing 10 and 6. Up next, we'll flip over to the NFC East. I think we'll just zigzag at the entire video. NFC East, I think, is going to still belong to Washington. So long as Ryan Fitzpatrick doesn't have some, like, enormous digress this year, Ron Rivera has himself a 10-11 win team. Defense is excellent. Ron Rivera is excellent. Offense is looking better every single day. I don't think the Cowboys are going to be enough to beat him. The Giants are threatening to make a push. I don't think that Daniel Jones is quite enough. And then you have the Eagles, who, by the way, I love Jalen Hurts, but they will have the worst record in the NFL this year. Philadelphia Eagles will either go 2-14 and or 3-13, and one of the two. For anybody saying the Houston Texans, no, 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 no. I'll get into that later, but they will not be worse than the Eagles. Up next, we got the AFC North, and this is another good division. Okay, I don't think three of the teams in this division are going to make the postseason again. One of them is going to have to digress. Two of them will make it, I know that. Bengals, no shot. There is a better chance of Jesus Christ returning to earth today. Okay, I'm just going to say this right now. Baltimore, I don't think will win the division. Unless they make some huge trade for like Julio Jones or something and Lamar drastically improves in his passing game, they will not win the division. Guys, I don't really have an answer on this division. If I had to say right now what I think is going to happen next year, and this will change. As of right now, I think it's going to be Cleveland at the top going 11-5, and five, and then it is going to be a battle between Pittsburgh and Baltimore. One of them is going to go 10-6, and six, and one of them is going to go 9-7. and seven. And yes, I do think Cleveland is going to win the division this year. I think Baker is developing. I think Kevin Stefanski is coaching his ass off. I think they have a criminally underrated defense. They have one of the best running backs in the entire fucking league. If they can somehow find a healthy, non-cancerous way to incorporate Odell Beckham into that offense, they will be fucking unstoppable. Up next, we got the good old NFC North. I think this is just going to be an all-out war between Minnesota and Green Bay like it should have been. Detroit's rebuilding slash Detroit like they're going to suck no matter what. You got Chicago who honey dicked the entire earth into thinking they were actually going to make a drastic quarterback change and they just picked up Andy fucking Dalton. Then you got Minnesota and Green Bay who are going to fight it out. They're probably going to go one and one against each other and it's going to be a very, very, very close race. 
Okay, when I look at Green Bay and Minnesota, this is what I see. I see Minnesota, when healthy, having the better defense of the two, but Green Bay is having the better offense. This is basically where I look at statistics, and the Vikings always get their ass kicked by the Bears at least once a year. Okay, I think Green Bay is going to take the North again this year. I think they're going to go 12-4, and 11-5, somewhere in there. The Vikings could win 11 games. I think they'll probably only win 10. All right, up next we got the AFC South. This is an interesting division. Now, we know the Jaguars and the Texans are completely out of it. Okay, we're, we're not going to even mention what's going on with Deshaun Watson. That's just asking to get canceled. But whether he does or doesn't play, they still have Tyrod Taylor, who, by the way, isn't a bad quarterback. He's lost his job four times for doing absolutely nothing. One of the times a doctor stabbed him in the one with a fucking needle. Okay, so you got Tyrod, you still got Brandon Cooks, you got Philip Lindsay, Mark Ingram, and David Johnson all in the backfield. You've got running back options. Defense is bad, but it's not like the worst in the league or anything like that. If Houston has a decent coach and they don't draft like absolute morons, the Texans can win four or five games this year. But when we're talking about who's going to win the AFC South, it's between the Colts and the Titans, and I'm going to go with the Colts. I think Frank Wright gets Carson Wentz back. There's going to be a huge improvement at quarterback. Their old lion is outstanding. Jonathan Taylor showed last year that he's going to be a dominant running back going forward. And Indianapolis's defense, I don't think, is going to downgrade. It shouldn't, at least. Like, the Colts are literally just the definition of a fucking solid team. Like, that is a brick wall of a team. Titans are going to have another good year, but I don't think their defense is going to get them to a division title. Up next, we got the NFC South, and this one's a little bit interesting, too, because it's down to two teams, much like many other divisions. We got Tampa Bay, and we got the Saints. Hey, the Falcons are going to be rough. The Panthers are going to be rough. Both of them will win five or six games and kind of sit exactly where they were last year. And with the New Orleans Saints, we don't know what the hell we're getting. I'm going to give Tampa Bay the title for this year because I, I don't think that New Orleans is going to be a completely functional team, at least for the first half of the season. For whatever fucking reason, Sean Payton's going to do everything in his power to roll with Taysom Hill. I'm guessing Taysom Hill will be the starter. He's going to blow it. They're going to bring in Jameis Winston. They're going to realize they actually have a quarterback who can throw, and they're going to start to slowly evolve their game plan, but I don't think they're going to be able to do that while maintaining the lead over the entire division. Now, I don't think the Buccaneers are some unstoppable force. We saw it last year. Outside of the Super Bowl and outside of the playoffs they can be beaten and they can be beaten badly but in the current state of the new orleans saints and their quarterback situation i think currently tampa bay should probably win the division next year same coach same team just won a championship they're going to be playing to defend that title all right up next we got the afc west okay so this is one i don't have to think about like at all the Chiefs are going to win the West. We can move on right now, but I do kind of want to talk about the Chargers because I don't think that they will, but the Chargers have an opportunity to go to the postseason next year. So do the Raiders, and so do the Broncos. Okay, Denver actually has an extremely good team. They just have a horrible quarterback that they need to get rid of as soon as fucking possible. And we have the Raiders, who are just a constant fix and repair. It just seems like that team is never, ever complete. Not to mention that they are notorious for being the worst drafting NFL team fucking ever. Look, if the Chargers stay healthy, especially Austin Eckler, they're a 10-win team. As long as Brandon Stanley's not nearly as stupid as Anthony Lynn was, that is. It just comes down to this question, is 10 wins enough to get them into the playoffs? And I, I don't think it is. And lastly, we've got the most interesting division in the entire league, my opinion at least, the NFC West. There is no team in the NFC West that should be below 500 this year. 49ers, Seahawks, Cardinals, Rams. Essentially, any one of those teams can win at any given fucking point. So what I'm going to do is the process of elimination. All right, 49ers fans, come on with the dislikes. I'm going to get them. You guys aren't going to win the division. Listen, San Fran's still got a good defense. They've got a great head coach. They just don't have the offense for it. I don't know. I don't care. I'm, I'm sorry. I look at San Francisco's offense, and I think that it is about a C+. Plus. You've got a quarterback who is not that good, and he can't stay healthy. You've got about eight different running backs who can't stay healthy. You've got two extremely quick wide receivers that can't stay healthy and you've got one of the best tight ends in the league who can't stay healthy then we got the cardinals who i think are going to be interesting they should make the postseason this year by the way if they didn't make the postseason i'd be a little bit shocked but i'm almost expecting them to beat the seahawks in the race but i don't think they will i think seattle will maintain like a one game lead on them which would leave my answer i think the rams are going to win it matt stafford is the difference 
Rams are going to go 13-3, and 12-4 this year. They're going to be really, really fucking good. Seahawks, I think, will win 10 or 11, as well as the Cardinals. The 49ers, however, I think only win 8 or 9. The NFC West is going to be electric this year. Anybody who's got a team in that division, put on your seatbelts, because you're in for a fucking ride. All right, guys, and that is my official way-too-early prediction for who's going to win each division next year in the NFL. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, I, I, I guess give it a, a thumbs down. I mean, if I make a shitty video, I guess I deserve it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, tell every single person you know that I'm on YouTube. I've been streaming Call of Duty Warzone on my Twitch lately. If you guys aren't following my Twitch, the link is in the description. I'll probably be streaming that later today as well. I'm not good. I'm not good at all, so don't expect God himself or anything. Other than that, guys, I'm gonna hop off and get this video edited so you guys can watch it. You guys already know the drill. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, I will see you in the next video.